Tuzarwubaka Ubujendra ni kama nuko jendra ni ra, kama nuko jendra ni ra, nuko ni ra, Usually in B2P you have a saying when you join, you're drinking by the fire hose. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it means you learn fast. There's no time to there's no time to you learn on the job, you know. So the things are new. Uh, you come you have a team of ten members, uh, probably for the first time some of them first time coming to Africa. When I graduated from undergrad, I had always told myself that I would change the world with my profession. Didn't know how I was going to do that. And, um, you know, when you graduate, everyone always says, I'm going to change the world. But it's actually happening right now. Uh, it's been a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of good work. Hard work yesterday. Uh, bringing the cables up that are behind us and getting them across the, uh, the valley and across the river and back up the other side uh, was a lot of work. We'll put hangers that are going to go about every, uh, every meter um, and then between those hangers we're going to bring out uh, wood planks that are about two inches thick of uh, eucalyptus which is native around here. Uh, and we'll put those longitudinal along the, uh, the deck and then we put some, uh, some other boards on top of it that are kind of treads that, that work uh, across the, the bridge. So we're excited. It's been fun. I think we have a really good team. Um, I think we all work really well together and it's um, neat finding the different um, disciplines of engineers and planners and communications and finding ways to work together and some people have better ideas than others and just that we all um, take those experiences that we have from outside of um, this and be able to apply them here. And you measured to the mark, you measured elevation difference mm -hmm. and you measured the horizontal. Okay, uh, I think that's I think it's 1.40 and 1.63. It was the locals, I mean the people that were helping us, the members from B2P, um, their experience definitely um, made things smoother, but um, our team members, the 10 people that were um, there, um, I was definitely surprised. Everybody's different backgrounds, how we were able to come together, work together, and always stay focused, stay on task. Um, and completed the bridge early. But I was, I was in architecture, I was enrolled in an architecture school at Drexel University, and I had this professor who, who kept saying, I kept asking questions in class, he said, don't worry, the engineers will figure it out. And I hated that answer, so I dual majored, so I could figure it out. Oh, I would definitely do it again. I mean, I would do it for a living. So, yeah, I would do it. I would definitely do it again. I'm really thankful that I have this opportunity to utilize the skills that I've been given to really make a, an impact in the lives of others. When I see the kids and no calls are being so excited about this project. And, um, so, thinking about them, like, using this bridge in the future, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> what I love most is when we are 
construct the thing the bridge and we on the inauguration how the bridge is looking so beautiful and how the local people are excited of having the bridge <laughs> P, I would like to thank uh, WSP as a company and also the 10 representatives from WSP here today who have used their sweat, uh, hopefully not too much blood, uh, but certainly your enthusiasm. <laughs> Oh, oh. 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 oh.